Hi guys, welcome back. So today we are going to do the last one for the last 15 days, 16 days of August 2020 for my Cancerians. So sun, moon, rising and Venus signs in Cancer can watch this. So first follow the sun, then the rest according to me. And this is going to be according to the Western astrology. So as you all know, this is a general reading. Don't take it too personally. For more accuracy, you can uh, WhatsApp me for bookings or Instagram me. Also join me on Instagram for August horoscopes, short horoscopes and other short readings which are pretty accurate. <clears throat> Cancer. These full cards for Cancer the last 15 days of August. Wow. <clears throat> You're not going to allow yourself <clears throat> towards any negativity in the first place. So you're keeping it to yourself, focusing on finances, focusing on personal growth. Someone is fighting with you, I feel. Or someone is fighting for your attention and you are not giving up your, you know, space for someone. So yeah, someone is uh, <clears throat> interested in you and offering you an emotional relationship and you've been fighting away from the uh, this offer. You've been uh, trying to control yourself from this offer of love that is coming towards you. You're holding yourself back. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah this person is watching you a lot and they might also wait for your response to their text or something like that but i feel you fought with them and you told them to stay away and this person is still not doing that okay they're still following you so yeah they want to come back to you so this person could be someone you already know from the past and they want to come back and because they care about you and they have love for you okay so they see you as their soulmate they want to have a relationship with you they basically feel an emotional connection for you all right but they they come with a deception i don't know what kind of deception this is they come with that they might be a scorpio that you're dealing with okay there might be a lot of secrets with this person oh my gosh so this person is not going to stay for a long time they do, they are excited in a way that they want to, you know, experience this relationship, the connection with you. But I feel this person has a lot of secrets and might not tell you everything or might not even commit to you when it comes to marriage, okay? There might be some secrets around this person. Maybe this person is already married and they, can, they cannot leave that person for you. They cannot give you the hundred percent. I feel that after some time, this person will <clears throat> might deceive you and start refocusing life on themselves. So they will become very selfish and they will leave you. There is a high chance. So be careful about that. So yeah, this person is quite self-obsessed. When they want somebody, they feel that they love that person and they want to be with them. And once they get satisfied and everything is starts getting boring for them you know they uh, become um, focused on self so they're a pretty selfish person that you're dealing with yes i need to be careful this person sees you as their wish that is why they are after you like anything but they are manipulative they are not honest and they might not be there for long and they know that okay they might keep you confused as well so yeah, they might be thinking a lot about you. This person could be a Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius strongly. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer also. Alright. So yeah, this person, uh, whoever this is, this, this person is very focused on work. Okay. This person doesn't like you or anyone's interference in their personal work area. So they're very materialistic like that. So... Yeah, as I told you, they're very money focused and they're not going to share their personal life, which includes the money and all with you in future. So they're there for just an experience and then they're gone. 
cancer. <clears throat> yes, I told you. So this person is very materialistic. All they think about is just satisfying their own needs. They're a very devilish person. They're also not letting you go because they want to win. They have high ego and they want to be liked. They want to be, uh, they want you to give them that attention and uh, they will do anything to get that. So that is why they're dying to talk to you. Okay. And this person is very focused and very money oriented, not very loving kind of a person i sense okay so be careful cancer they could be a capricorn as well Virgo, taurus as well yes i told you this person is when it comes to career they don't like your interference anyone's interference you know in general so yeah and uh they might also i feel that they might be you know have some lust you know lust based desires with you and they they will once they're fulfilled they will move on and uh, they're not even giving you that free space that you need to think over things properly before you make an approach to them okay so So the cards are trying to tell you that you might have children with this person. This person could be the one that you're getting divorced from or divorced with. Or you might be having children of your own and you're involved with this person. Okay, so children might be the reason why there is a, a need to release this person, okay? And because there is strong chemistry, you do sense the chemi chemistry with this person and they also do. But then there's no point because this person is toxic, this person is a big flirt. So they're just flirting with you, okay? Cancer. Bring love into the situation. Surrender to the divine. It's time to take action. I feel that you need to be more loving towards uh, yourself, okay? So some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius. So I feel that whatever is going to happen is going to happen. You don't need to try to control things. Let things go with the flow and be more loving towards any situation and stop embracing negativity too much. Okay. So it's time that you take action and uh, realize if it's not working for you, then you have to literally cut this person off from your life and move on. Okay. Okay. Because you are stuck with this person for some reason. I don't know what. So I feel that you need to take that action and bring self-love into the situation. Think about yourself first and then the other person. And when it comes to finding the love of your life, just leave it on God. Because everything's going to set in place, right? So don't really bother about those things. Don't really bother about negativity coming in future. Who knows what future holds for you? So what are those signs that are approaching you? Signs approaching Cancer, Capricorn. This person is very high in ego, I feel. Whoever you're dealing with. Very money-minded. Okay. They might be showing you a hell lot of emotions so that you can, you know give in to them but uh, be careful i feel cancer however you're going you're actually being in the right place you might be dealing with a sag as well another cancer for some so basically you are focusing on your own gain of own material gain leo some of you might be dealing with a leo another capricorn so yeah very strongly capricorn energy over here uh, cancers so this is your reading i hope this has resonated most of it has resonated with you and if it did do mention in the comment section like this video and uh, subscribe to my channel and share this video hit the bell icon Bye bye